NATO has sent 20,000 troops. Well, I wouldn't say NATO has sent 20,000 troops. NATO's got loads of troops from certain countries like, I don't know, um, um, Norway, Canada, America. Um, I don't know about France and Germany. They may be going to these exercise trainings in NATO. The UK is sending 20,000 troops to NATO. I don't know about Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. They may go there as well. I'm not too sure. And France could be going there. Well, there could be French people there. I don't know. But um, there'll be probably be a lot more countries that go there. Like Australia, I don't know. But the thing is, this happened in the Cold War when it, they built up like World War Three. So we're, we're on the edges of World War Three. Guys and girls, ladies and boys and girls. Some of us may be worried. Some of us probably don't care. Some of us would just think it's just how it is. Perhaps we need a war to sort out this mess. Perhaps we don't. But the thing is... Um, all the news channels are saying it. Uh, Nigel Farage is saying it could be World War Three in the sea, but that could escalate on land as well. They come on boats, they come on planes in the sky, they could come on, you know, from the tunnels. Um, you know, where tunnels from England to France. Come on the train, they can come on, they can come anywhere. Jump from the uh, parachutes in the sky that come over here, and then our forces would have to try and push them back, like uh, our police, our army in England as well. Some people would say it's gone back to the 1940s or 1944. I don't know. Um, World War One, World War Two. This could be exactly. It's like resetting itself. Some people would say it's nuclear war. I don't think we're on that front yet, but it could, it could escalate. That's what, they're not going to just be showing off their things on the TV, trucks and guns, the hooties for no reason. Um, like I say, Russia and Ukraine had their war, and we've got Ukrainians in the UK. And we've got American air bases if it kicks off. Uh, across the Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, hopefully. Um, I don't know, like I say, if um, we just have to wait and see. We've killed some of their people in you in um, Yemen. Not me personally, I mean the people, Americans and the British, which I think they've done a good, a good job. No one should be able to be stopped in the middle of the sea with their supplies or whatever they're going to bring in and getting disruptions. Keep fighting them. Eventually, they'll get the message, or they may not. Like I say, the terrorists are not going to understand. But like I say, anyway, I better go. Tell me what you think about this. So we're heading for World War Three. It looks like we're on the edge of it already, or we may have been on the edge of World War Three when Ukraine and Russia started. And I better go. Thank you for joining me. Take it easy, peace.